In today's video, I'm going to show you a new Google Sheets feature, which are pre-built tables. So once you open a new spreadsheet here in Google Sheets, you'll be able to see this panel on the right that says tables. Start with pre-built tables, include smart chips, placeholders, and custom color palettes. We have our featured tables right here, which is event tasks, project tasks, content tracker, product prioritization, and recruitment applications. So these are just a few of the tables that you can insert here in Google Sheets. Now, other than the featured ones, we have tables for event planning, customer relations, project management, travel planner, product roadmap, inventory management, recruitment, team planner, and marketing. So once you click on these, there are more tables that you can choose from, from all of these categories. Now let's go back to the featured ones and just select one. I'm going to go for recruitment applications. If you click on it, it will automatically be inserted on your spreadsheet. Now let's close this one. Now let's say you want to add another table other than this one, or if you've made a mistake and added a different table, all you have to do would be to go to insert right here on the menu bar and select tables right here. If you click on it, that same panel will appear on the right side. Now let's go back to our recruitment table right here. So these pre-built tables are game changers because after you've inserted them into your spreadsheet, all you have to do now is to just edit them into what you need for your data set. So to rename our table, we can easily just click or double click on this part right here, or we can go to this table menu where we can rename the table adjust the table range, turn off alternating colors, customize the table colors, revert to unformatted data, or delete the table altogether. Let's go and do the first one, rename our table. So again, either you can do that or just double click on this to edit the name of your table. Let's just stick to recruitment, press on enter, and there you have it. Beside the table menu, we have our views. If you click on it, you have two options. We have create group by view or create filter view. Select it depending on what you want to do with your table. Let's move on to our headers. Now for these headers, each of them have their own drop down menu, which will have the same thing. Edit column type, sort column, filter column, group by column. So everything that you can do within your columns. So for the first one, let's see edit column. Right now, these are formatted into chips. So if I click on it, it will be asking me from my contacts which one I want to add into this cell. Now, if you don't want chips into your columns, all you have to do is to change it with edit column type and select the one that you like, whether it's a number, a text, a drop down menu, like the ones that we see right here, a checkbox, if that's what you need for that column, smart chips, we have people, file, finance, place, rating, or you can also just place nothing. Next one would be our sort column. We have the options of sorting it A to Z or Z to A. We have filter a column, group or column, insert one table column to the right, or delete that table column altogether. So these are the options that you can choose from in editing these columns right here. Right now, this table only has 15 rows, as you see right here. If you want to add more, all you have to do is to input the number that you want to add right here. Let's say I want to add 100 more and then just click on add. There you have it. We've added 100 more to our 15 rows right here. Now let's say we want to extend this table to the right, add more columns to the right. Let's say we wanted to reach until column L. All we have to do would be to edit our table range. So let's go to our table menu right here and select adjust table range. Right now our range is only from A1 to H115. Now if we change column H to column L, where we want to extend our columns to the right, then click on OK. If you scroll to the right, you'll see that we've added four more columns until we've reached column L. And there you have it. Next one would be you can customize the color of your table. 
And if you're not a fan of the color green, you can change this by going back to table menu and selecting customize table colors. Right now we are color green. Now if you choose another one right here, it will automatically be applied onto your table. Let's choose another one. And there you have it. Those are pre-built tables, which is a new Google Sheets feature. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.